TFNN Headline News Update Here's Tom O'Brien Good morning everyone, Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien and I will also be doing the next hour show so let's go straight to the update. Dow's down 63 at 18,080, S&P's down 3 at 21.21 so you see that the S&P is only down 0.15%, Dow's double, down 0.36%. You've got the uh, QQQ and this is going to be very important, I'll talk about that in a moment. The QQQ trading at 110.78, all it needs to do is to get to 111 point oh nine is that 111 point oh four to start leg d in the chapman wave i'll talk about that more in the, in the show itself and uh, let me move this 120 minute chart away right here and i'll go through this why is the qqq important because the qqq has 111.17 to hit and it starts leg d in the chapman wave and that says all the little ducks are in order it could even happen now because it's got an alternate wave but it would be interesting to see if we could just squeak just a tad higher to get to that level and then we could turn down but in the meantime back at the ranch we'll talk about these other things because IWC I don't know if any of you ever look at the IWC this is the iShares microcap ETF um, it, had, it has been one of the very best of the uh, indexes it has screamed to a new all-time high it is trading right now at 83.94 down 22 cents for yesterday's high all-time high was 84.28 what's going to be really important just keep the numbers simple if IWC in the next three sessions today is Wednesday no I want Monday Monday at two o'clock if the IWC instead of being above 83 is in fact below 82.50 it'll suggest that there's a, a short-term change of trend and then we'll see by Friday, a week from Friday, whether the weekly chart has made a peak and then we're going to be watching this real closely. Why? Because if one of the very best indexes, the mini, the iShares microcap ETF is starting to fail, you've got to put it together with the IBB, which is the iShares NASDAQ Biotech ETF, also a new all-time high yesterday it went to 385.82 and uh, 385.02 and today's down just a little bit down a dollar 25 got to watch this one really closely why because here again the weekly chart will be giving us a tremendous amount of information if a week from this friday a week from friday the instead of being a three in the 379 or higher area it is trading between 367 and 365 right on the nine period moving average of the weekly chart let's go on and we're going to look at a gold uh, gold right now is down it is down three dollars at 11.73 what's very interesting is the pattern i'll talk about it in the next hour it's called the lowercase h pattern essentially it's an arch formation that fails and retests the left side low bar and in that in this case the gold contract would have a low bar of 11.62.10 <clears throat> on the continuous contract and it's trading now at 11.73 if it if it takes out the low of today which is 1168 if it closes under that there's just not only a really good chance that it's going to test that left side low that I spoke of from the 5th of June at 1162 but there's a really good chance that it's going to go lower and retest the weekly low way back in November of 1134 let's quickly go on here i want to look at um, high grade copper high grade copper is bouncing a little bit now it'll be the tlt that's important today the tlt is at 116.74 114.81 is the weekly uh, 200 period exponential moving average support we're going to be watching this really closely why i think that's an area that's going to find some support and then we'll see if there's if there's a rally from there or where the money goes from bonds back into equities or from equities back into bonds let's have a last look here we look at the dollar which of course is key and the dollar is holding very well i suspect the dollar at 95.40 is going to get to the 95.80s area if it gets there the 96s will be uh next 94.90 is the support uh thank you for being here i will be back for the for tom's show straight after this and then my usual show the tiger technicians are at 11. thanks for being here
If you're like me, you're always looking for ways to diversify your financial portfolio. Everbank's innovative market safe CD can help you diversify while protecting your principal deposit. In fact, Everbank unveiled a new five year market safe power metal CD, which combines the power of gold, silver, and copper. Metal prices are currently low, so this CD could really deliver. Consider the facts you get exposure to three valuable metals in one index CD and have the potential to earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if the metals increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should they decrease? No worries. There's zero risk to your principal here, as you still get 100% of it back. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. No annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest is paid on the CD. Intrigued yet? The July 9th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is a member FDIC.